Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to answer a question on one of the comments on one of my videos. It says, I know how to speak light languages, but don't really do it much. Could you tell us more of an understanding about light languages? If you don't understand what we are saying, what does it mean? Why is there, what is it used for, etc.? Do you think it would be, it would benefit me if I regularly speak it? And she, they also say, I also sing it like you do. My understanding of a light language is that it's the language of energy. So when I sing it, it's the energy of love. And there's also different voices and different types of languages. And sometimes they have really direct meaning. And you visualize that meaning within your mind. Sometimes it's just allowing the healing energy to flow through you in a natural way. It's like when we speak English. Is it the best way of speaking? Probably not. So light language is a way the spirits speak through us in a more of a natural flowing way. It allows energy to throw through me to you in the nat most natural way possible that I understand it. So, I definitely think it's a great idea to do light language. At first, when I first heard it, I said, oh my God, this is so BS, it's gibberish, it means nothing. And I'm telling you, I don't sing. So it's a huge deal that I sing it. But it's so unbelievably healing when you do. When I do light language for a while, it's like when you stop, it's like, oh my God. It's like powerful. It's a powerful healing for the people that listen to it, if they're open to it. It's but also very powerful for the person that is doing it. Very healing. So yes, do it. Throw your ego aside. Because it's the ego that's in the way. It's the ego that's telling you that it's the ludicrous, it's ridiculous. So toss it aside and allow the energy to flow through you. And you'll know in your heart what the meanings, what the meaning of the light language is, but sometimes it doesn't have a direct meaning. It's like if you want to open your, your heart chakra, you allow the energy to flow and it opens up your heart chakra. So the, that 15 minute healing simply is opening your heart. That's what it represents. And you can do it all your chakras that way. Open them all up. It's, it's an intention of the language itself that creates the meaning of it. So the words themselves can have direct meaning, but they might not. It's not just the words. It's the sounds. It's the energy flowing through the words. Light language has energy attached to each word. That's what makes it so unique and powerful. That's what makes it so special. Each type of language has its own purpose. When you sing it, for me, it is about love. It's the highest vibrations of love that flow through me into you. or into the person that I'm working with. When I have the language for instance, it's like Nahaya or Anaya Naisakana or Asaya. It's a very loving energy. Nohasatea Nahisokanae is a direct language to break down things. Nikanohe breaks down the energy, breaks down the barriers. It's not meant to be scary. It is meant to break energy down. And you see the energy breaking down when you speak it. It, it shatters blocks, it shatters blockages. And then you have energy where you breathe. Huasa. 
I feel like the energy, you blow energy, life force into whatever it is that you want. You could blow it into a person or blow it into their heart. It's a direct blowing of energy into something. It could be to all of you. There's energies of darkness. Energy is to what I would call, it's like a snake charmer does to a snake. It allows the darkness to be pulled out of a person, to bring it to the surface, so it can be transformed into light easily, without being forced. It brings the light to the surface. It is quite beautiful in its way is how well it works. It might seem a bit creepy, but I'm telling you, if you can bring the darkness out of a person without forcing it, without much difficulty at all, it's beautiful. There's other languages as well, depending on how the energy flows through you. There's energy of bringing light into darkness, but it's not chaos like i just said like in the last like the the snake sounding energy light language it's the light language of sending love into darkness that is at in balance not the chaos darkness that can be used because chaos absorbs the darkness without question so if you fill the darkness with love and light, like the Northern Lights, for instance, that type of light, then you could transform it into a light much easier. That type of language is different, sometimes hard to do, because it's not something you just do, it's something you feel. That fills the darkness with love. How do I know? Because it feels, it flows through me that way, with that intention. So the way you do it, it will be different than the way I do it. And each language itself is going to be uniquely your own. But is one right or one wrong? No. Because it's the, if you try to force the language, then it's not a true light language. It's not a language of the spirit world. It's not a language of flowing of energy. It doesn't become true and it doesn't become natural. And then you have the languages in between, and sometimes there are some unique ones that pop up because you don't force the language, the language flows. It flows like the wind. And sometimes the wind has to be a hurricane to be effective, and other times it just has to be a subtle breeze. And sometimes there's no wind at all. Just the sun shining down here in your face on a sunny day. No siya sakae, o no kisa manae, asa tai, o kainahana, i asa kiso, naid na kona. So there, there's a few examples of light language. Hope that answers your question. And 
If you wish to do a service with me, you can visit my website at Joseph Bradley Aurora's for my Northern Lights. And if you wish to do a service of a late language, for instance, soul retrieval, etc., you can go to my website at almondrossawakening.com. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day.